How you doing? Today we're going to go over the uh, replacement of a TAG DMS uh, replacement fan for the NT3X90 AC. You'll be using a TF-DMS01 from TAG as well as a TF-DMS01S sensor, which is the clapper sensor that we'll be replacing in the fan tray today. The tools that you'll need a little stubby screwdriver that has a quarter inch bit that could either be used as a, a Phillips head or a flat head. And uh, we'll get started. First, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the uh, power distribution frame and we're going to pull the, the fuses. What you can see here is the fan failed and we know that there's a fan failure down here. So when you open up the, the tray here, we first want to take a look at the number of fans that you have out of service. When you look under here, you're going to see that we have one fan over here that's failed and we're not sure about the sensors yet so once we pull the fan tray out we'll be able to identify the sensors and which ones are good to remove this tray you'll need to remove these four screws one two three and four and I already got those started so it'll be a little easier and expedite this this video. I'm looking up pooling unit 33 and pooling unit 34. These work in conjunction with one another. And basically we're going to go over there and pull the, the fuse for both of those. Come over here and see CU 3334, CU 3334. As you can see, we have no fans that are running right now. Now we're going to be good to pull this plug. Once we pull the plug, okay, and then we can finish removing the screws here with my quarter inch stub. Plug has been uh, removed. Pull the whole fan tray. As you can see here, this is the fan that was broken and not turning. And this fan over here doesn't have a sensor that was actually, uh, actually two fans that don't have sensors. So what we'll do is we'll replace the fan and then the, uh, the two sensors. Oh, there's a piece of it right now. So to remove this fan, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use our quarter inch nut driver again. This sensor is in good shape, so we'll keep that sensor. You can leave the sensor connected to the wires. Get that out of the way. 
Here we're gonna use a flathead to get the power prongs off of the fan. And we're just gonna kinda wiggle that off. And there's your fan. And we'll reinstall the tag fan. What we can do here is put the power prongs on first. After uh, replacing the fan, we're going to make sure that the label is up. Uh, the power prongs, you want the, the red lead on top, if you do have that, uh, which is positive 48 volts DC. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that the label is up. We're going to look and make sure that you have all four threaded inserts on the DMS-01 fan. And go ahead and start that. Get this started. I'm using the flathead screws that are provided with the fan. It should be in the box when you receive that. Attach the sensor using the another flathead screw that was provided by Tag. Now what we'll do is we'll replace these two sensors with new sensors. So when, when replacing the, the sensor of the DMS-01S on an existing fan, you're going to take the, the new sensor and the original screw from the fan that came out of the old sensor, and you're going to install it. And when reinstalling the, the wires, the blue one actually goes all the way underneath here. There's three, three fast-ons, and you're only going to use two of them. So the blue goes all the way at the bottom, and then the brown is going to go just above that. And the top one will be open. Now that we have the one fan replaced with the original sensor, replace two broken sensors, we're going to reinstall the fan tray. You see there's a little, little ledge there, you can kind of just use the tray in on, slides right in. And what we'll do first before we secure everything, Insert fuses. And our fan fill light is gone out. 
can re-secure all the bolts. if needed. That's how you place an NT3X90 AC DMS100 fan.